Leonard Goldenson, who had founded the network, was still there, actively there. He was in every scheduling session. He was um, in every um, pilot screening session, you know, when you bring your pilots, you know, everybody brings their pilots uh, to New York and, you know, shows their wares to their management. Leonard was always in the room. Um, so, and Leonard believed in pushing down the power. Leonard was a very sweet and kind and strong presence. And Leonard believed in the a kind of an entrepreneurial approach to, to, um, to the people on the line in development, that they should be given the power to do it and encouraged to take risks. And it was fabulous. We were all encouraged to take risks. Michael told me, I don't care. I don't care how many. You can deliver me 12 horrible pilots in one hit, and you've had a successful season. Never be afraid of showing me something that was a noble risk that fell flat on its face. You know, It was such a great lesson to learn. Well, soap was a noble risk. Soap was a huge risk. Soap dealt with, you know, homosexuality, and, and it was a wonderful mix of comedy and drama, and Susan Harris writing it, Paul Witt, Tony Thomas. It was, it was Jay Sandrich was directing. It was a beautifully done series. It was fabulous and cutting edge. And I delivered that, and we screened it, and I, I could barely breathe. I was so nervous. And at the end of that screening, Leonard Goldenson, the first one to speak in the room, Leonard Goldenson said, well, we have to put this on. And I could have cried. I just, I could have cried. I just so appreciated that he said that. But yeah, other noble risks. Well, one of the things we, we, we did was um, I believed that um, independent voices were very important. So we put uh, Jim Brooks and Ed Weinberger and um, their company into business and got Taxi on from them. Um, we put Steve Cannell into business and put Ten Speed and Brown Shoe on from him, which was Ben Vereen and Jeff Goldblum. It was fabulous, but ABC didn't give it the right amount of attention. Um, but, but so, you know, I think you mean shows that were noble risks, but there were also financial and creative risks and business risks, like putting people into business because we believed that strong independent voices were really necessary in, in getting good programming out.